prophets. And there are different prophets in the Bible. I want you to understand that. Amen. And I'm going to get up and go over it. Amen. Glory to God. Because some of you, y'all want to know y'all purpose. Amen. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, it's a lot of them. Amen. They come to church and the preacher preach and they teach and they do everything else. But they need to know who they are. Amen. As individuals. Amen. How many people want to know they purpose within the earth? How many people want to know, glory to God, what God is saying directly about them? Amen. A lot of times we hear about our family, we hear about our friends, we hear about what's happening in the world, but we need to know what's happening with us. Amen. I gotta say, neighbor, neighbor, God is getting ready to speak to you. God is ready to speak Amen. To you. Glory to God. So it says in Numbers 11 and 16, accordingly the Lord said, Moses, gather for me 70 men. I gotta say 70 men. 70 men. From among the elders of Israel, whom you know to be elders of the people and their officers, bring them to the tent of meeting, tabernacle, and let them stand there with you. Right? So after we know that after that happened, Moses, what he did is, is that he began, glory to God, to lay hands on everybody and import. I know they say import. One thing you do not know, they didn't, they didn't say, I don't know if it was shower or what, or they forgot. When Sister Candace had gave to me, she was telling me, she said, Prophet, I believe in tithing, I believe in giving, and everything else. I gave you my best, right? My wife, she didn't tell you this point. When she gave, she was mad. Usually, if it hurts you, that man God is getting ready to bless you. Let's say, if it hurts you, it hurt you. it's going to bless you. It's gonna bless you. When Adam went to sleep, the Bible says he took from his real. How many people have been in surgery before? Raise your hand if you ever had surgery, right? And you know when you have surgery, maybe when it happened, you don't feel it, right? But after, Lord of God, you feel the side effects. And how many people know about the side effects? Lord of God, Adam was lonely and he wanted help. Some of us in this room want help, amen? Glory to God, it's okay to see our family and brother and sister bless, amen, but every once in a while, we got to say, God, what about little old me? Come on now. I got to say, little old me. Come on, say it one more time. Little old me needs some help from you, God, amen? Glory to God. So what happened is, is that I'm just telling you, amen, and I need you to really pay attention, amen, glory to God, because we're living in the eschatology of time. Eschatology means the end time, okay? Glory to God. And I want you to understand, glory to God, that God is calling his children together. I didn't say together. Together. Now, are you with me today? Are you with me today? Amen. No, I need to hear you. Are you with me today? Amen. Amen. Because, glory to God, this word is for you. But I don't want you to fight this word. I don't want you to, glory to God, feel like, glory to God, well, glory to God, I, I feel like, glory to God, I can make it on my own, glory to God, because that's what the devil wants you to think. Amen. Don't you know that when Jesus came, Jesus came and he had somebody to validate him. I didn't say Jesus. Jesus. Had, had somebody, somebody to validate him. To validate him. And anoint him. And anoint him. You want to know who that was? John. John the Baptist. What did John the Baptist do? Yeah, he said, Behold the Lamb who what? Take the sins of the what? Whole what? World. Right? Is that what your Bible say? Mm -hmm. When he baptized him, and the Bible says that the Holy Ghost, like a dove, came down and said, This is my beloved who? Son. Son right? And whom I'm well pleased in. Right? Now, the reason I say this because a lot of us are trying to make stuff work, but God says spiritually, who's your father? Let me say it again. We got mamas in the gospel, amen? We got strong mamas, but who's your daddy? The Bible says, glory to God, that Abraham, watch this, when Abraham came, he was made to be a father to who? The nations, right? Now, I'm going to help you out. Glory to God, from the beginning, God always wants you to be connected to some, some type of leader. Amen? Glory to God, in Romans 10, she quoted it. Romans, the 10th chapter. The Bible talks about how God wanted Israel to be saved. But he also said this. He said, how could they be saved without who? A preacher. 
A who? A who? A who? See, in other words, you can't be saved on your own. I know the world is teaching that, you know, God saved me, that's it. No, that's error. Because the Bible says when he rose, the Bible says he gave gifts unto men, glory to God, and he gave some, what? Apostles, right? Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 11. Some apostles, some prophets, I heard it say prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of who? The saints. The saints. Amen? Glory to God. I, you got to talk with me. Amen? Because the more you talk, the more God will speak back to me and give you something, amen, that you need. Amen? Glory to God. But, glory to God. Y'all at Ephesians 4 and 11? Amen? I want somebody to read that. Glory to God. You can go Google that on your phone. Ephesians 4 and 11. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ephesians 4 and 11. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, and you can too. Amen. Follow me. I need some, some reading. Why y'all would know, amen, that I'm not just talking through the teeth. Amen. Glory to God, because God wants for us to know the word. Amen. I gotta say the word. Amen. Don't be afraid. Amen. God is with you. I gotta say God is with me. Uh-uh. No devil in hell can't destroy me. Amen. I'm gonna prophesy to you today, because I've been saying you a lot. Glory to God, you've been all up in my dream. I be trying to close my eyes and I see you. I try to go to sleep and I see you. I be like, my God, why keep on seeing this man of God? God said, glory to God, because he's, glory to God, connected to you. I want him to be connected to you. Since that day I met you, glory to God, it's like something been drawn from me to you. Amen. Glory to God. I told Sister Dietrich, I said, my God, I said, I don't know why it is. I say, but my God, Sister Candace's son, is something about him that's unique. Amen. And glory to God, God is going to speak some stuff. Amen to you. Amen. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, I'm going to just tell you this. The last time we had a prayer at your house, right? And the Lord said that he was going to play the good talk. He liked to play the good talk. That's the one that likes to play the good talk. And she said, since you left, she said he ain't been able to put that good talk down. Hallelujah. I got two good talks right there, too. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Let's give glory to God. This prophet is a great big hand clap too. Amen. I want everybody to come up closer. Amen. That, that, that you know, don't be afraid of anything. Amen. Because the Bible says that the, the widow, the, the woman that had the issue of blood, she said, only if I can touch the hem of his going. So she understood, glory to God, the power of distance. Amen. And she wanted to be in the presence of the Lord. So I want everybody to come up and see. Amen. And the Bible says healing came forward. You'll be surprised what just one word from the Lord will do for you. Amen. Glory to God. So I want y'all to just come on up here. Amen. Glory to God. Now, don't they look so cute? Don't they look so cute today? Glory to God. Now, look at them wearing their stilettos and uh, false tennis and, you know, everything. Hot glory to God. Come on. Y'all look like y'all that came from the BET Awards. Come on now. Glory to God. Yeah, go ahead. What that song, uh, Kurt Franklin said, I love when they smile. Come on now. Glory to God. Come on up. Everybody, come on up. Amen. You, you want to sit over there? Amen. Glory to God. But I want you to know, glory to God. That God is with you, amen. And glory to God, don't you know that I know a lot of people are talking about the race card and all that, amen. I mix with white and black and Mexican and crazy, you know, glory to God, because you know, you, you, you know, glory to God, some of my family is crazy. Some of us, glory to God, be like, brother, preacher, I don't want you to, before you meet them, I want you to know, glory to God, that they do this, they do, come on, let, let me real, glory to God. We got some uncles, we got some aunties, we got some cousins, that glory to God, you see them, you really gonna need Jesus. Come on now, we, we gonna see if you really Say when you deal with them, amen. amen. <laughs> glory to God. But I want you to know, glory to God, that glory to God, the Bible says, I never say the Bible says. The Bible says. And 1 Kings 18 and 4, glory to God, for when Jezebel destroyed the prophets of the Lord, the Bible says, Obadiah took a hundred prophets and healed them by fifty in a cave and provided them bread and water. Now, this is a time of famine, right? I never say famine. famine. The reason it was a famine, glory to God, because Jezebel, glory to God, uh, 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 was doing a lot of evil. So God rose and arise, uh, brought up a prophet by the name of Elijah. I didn't say Elijah. 
And Elijah, glory to God, was a prophet, glory to God, that didn't have a father and mother. The Bible don't talk about his daddy or mama. Ain't that something? Don't that sound like Jesus? He came in the spirit of the Holy Ghost. I heard that say the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Ain't you glad that, glory to God, the Holy Ghost is still moving for you? Amen. Amen. Ain't you glad, glory to God, that God, don't you know the word tissue back, glory to God, means, glory to God, that he came from a place of nowhere? Amen. God deposited it with man, glory to God, in the presence, glory to God. Because in history, when you look, glory to God, for Elijah, you can't even trace his daddy and mama. That sounds like Jesus, glory to God, don't it? Lord of God, because Jesus, amen, when he came, he came through the Holy Spirit, right? And when he came through the Holy Spirit, he came through the Father, which came down from heaven, amen? Lord of God, so I want you to know, Lord of God, that, Lord of God, in Numbers 11 and 25, Lord of God, it says, Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to him and some of them. And the Spirit who was upon Moses and put him upon the 70 elders, when the Spirit rest upon them, they prophesied. I heard it say prophesied. Prophesied. Glory to God. I heard it say my children, my children. and children's children, children. going to prophesy. Say it again. They're going to prophesy. This is the wrong path. If you don't believe in prophecy, glory to God. Your spirit man is getting glory to, glory to God to start prophesying. Glory to God, you don't prophesy money, you don't see money. You don't prophesy houses, and you don't see houses. You don't prophesy healing, and you don't see healing. You don't prophesy, glory to God, deliverance, and you don't see deliverance. How many prophets, glory to God, under the sound of my voice, that believe this word? If you believe this word, I want you to shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So the Bible says, I heard you say the Bible. The Bible. The Bible says that after he laid hands, they began to prophesy. I heard you say prophesy. Prophesy. In other words, something that you thought that you couldn't do, you thought that only the preacher could do, God says, I want you to do. Amen. I heard you say, God want me, God want me. To, prophesy. to prophesy. Glory to God. God want my family want my to prophesy. To prophesy. Glory to God. Glory to God. Don't you know that prophecy is so important that he had a donkey to speak? Glory to God. What did that mean? Glory to God. He wanted, glory to God, somebody to speak and declare what's happening in heaven. Amen. Just like the news is in earth, God wants for us to know what's in heaven news. Amen. And the way we know what's on the agenda and the mindset of God is through the word of what? Prophecy. I got to say prophecy. Prophecy. Hallelujah. And you did nothing wrong, Sister Kawana. I want you to know you did nothing wrong. I didn't want to mess with you. Amen. You know that God. When you call me, amen. Don't feel bad, amen. I know you didn't want to use me. Amen. Glory to God. I love you. Amen. Glory to God. But St. Timothy 1 and 6. It says, That is why I remind you, uh, 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 glory to God, and to offend the gracious gift of God that inner fire, the special endowment which is in you through the land of my hands. With those of the elders. So even in the New Testament, because some people say that's Old Testament stuff, prophet. You shouldn't be teaching that. You know, that's Old Testament. You know, God ain't doing that no more. Well, the Bible says in the New Testament, 2 Timothy, glory to God, 1 and 5, glory to God, God used Paul, glory to God, to lay hands. And when he laid hands, something was activated. I did to say, my little children going to prophesy. My baby's going to prophesy. Glory to God. God want to use the babies too. I got to say, yeah, he cares about my children. He cares about my children. Uh-huh. Come on. They might get on your nerves sometime, but he care about them. Come on now. Glory to God. They may ask a lot of questions, but he care. Come on. Let's be real. Amen. Glory to God. So let's go to 2 Kings. Amen. 2 and verse 9. When you get down, I want you to shout amen. 2 Kings 2 and verse 9. Glory to God. What it reads. Uh, I want for uh, you to read 2 Kings 2 and 9. Matter of fact, I read it. And when they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask what you shall do for you before I am taken from you. And Elijah said, Please let a double portion of your spirit come upon me. The reason I'm saying this is because 
And this this generation, are y'all listening? And this generation, people thinking that, you know, well, all I need is God. I don't need no help from no preacher. All I need is God. Well, God set men in the order of the earth realm to use to be a mouthpiece for his glory. Amen? I didn't say you need one another. Need, say it. Need we need one another. We need one another. Amen? Glory to God. But the reason I'm saying this because even prophet is, she said earlier, the enemy wants to create the vision. He don't want for the saints to come together. Amen? Glory to God. What it says in Hope's, uh, Isaiah 12 and 13. It says, and by a prophet, Moses the Lord brought Israel up from Egypt. And by a prophet, Israel preserved. It was a man of God that didn't want him. He's 55 years old. God had uh, me to prophesy to him. Glory to God. And he told me the other day, he said, prophet, he said, I love you. He said, my credit score went up. He said, sick over uh, how much he said, y'all? Was it the debt? Was it thirty thousand dollars worth of debt canceled? Right? Yeah. Glory to God. Uh, and y'all seen his credit score shoot up? Glory to God. Getting unexpected money, and everything. Got un inherited money. Amen. When glory to God, a family member passed. Amen. And you want to know what happened? Glory to God. God said that He didn't need to go to California. Right? The Lord had told me that he was going to go to California, but he said, at this time, it's not good. Right? And I told him, sometimes God sometimes says no to protect us. Right? And sometimes he'll say, yes, glory to God, because he want to bless us. Right? So he's 55. He listening, you know, he's thinking his mind. That this young man, you know, I'm way older than I'm going to do what I want to do. So he said he was praying against what I was saying. He like, he wasn't hearing that. Amen? Because he knew that he needed to go to California. Well, the reason I'm saying this is because I want you to see how powerful and how real the word is. Amen. Glory to God. This man of God, glory to God, who I'm talking about, he said last night, he said, man of God, he said, I'm happy that you told me that. I said, why Why you say that? He said, glory to God. He said, because you're right. If I would have went to California right now, I would have been able to preach. You see what I'm saying? If I would have went, because there's 40 million people on lockdown in California. You see what I'm saying? And his, 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 his goal was to go there to preach. You see what I'm saying? But God used the prophet, glory to God, in the earth realm to warn and to preserve his life. Because there's uh, a lot of people that are dying, glory to God, in California. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So God, glory to God, spurred the prophet. Amen. Glory to God. I want you to know, glory to God, that glory to God, God is going to do great miracles, signs, and wonders for you. I never say miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Going to come in my house. Going to come in my house. It's going to be normal. It's going to be normal. I told her, I said, I know it sounds strange. I said, but God connected you to me. Amen. So that when you give, while everybody else is losing their jobs. The Lord said that she wasn't going to lose her job. Now, y'all, she called me every day. Can I talk bad about her while she in the house? You know, some people be gossiping and the person not around. You know, they just no good friends. Amen. Don't you thank God for people, glory to God, to tell it like it is while you're around? Glory to God. That's how you know you can trust them. Glory to God. Because there's some people that you say, glory to God, this is my friend. And they say, you know, they said, my God, everybody know about your business. And you're like, how in the world you know about Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Ain't you glad? Amen. But let me tell you. Glory to God. So the Lord said, amen, she had gave $100, right? The Lord said when she gave that, she was going to get $20. She was making $9 an hour. Then uh, she was she was temporary. She came out of temp agency, right? So ooh, every day she was calling me. I didn't say every day. Glory to God. That's 365 days, but it, it, it went from February to April. God said in April, glory to God, there was going to be a change and a transition in her pain, right? Glory to God. So every day, she would call on the prayer line. Ooh, y'all. And she was on the prayer line, too. Ooh, y'all. You remember. Ooh, y'all. Can y'all pray? Glory to God, because I'm afraid I'm going to lose my job. I said, woman, long as you keep on giving, you ain't going to lose your job. Yeah. Oh, well, my supervisor's laying a lot of people out. I say, they're not going to let you out. I hear the Lord say, you're going to be permanent. Well, you know, when 
when you're living in the now, glory to God, everything that's prophetic seems like it's a lie because you don't see the symptoms of the prophetic word. You see what I'm saying? It seems like, glory to God, it's over your head. It make, it make you feel like, glory to God, well, God, what are you talking about? Glory to God, because my finances don't match my promise. Come on now. Glory to God, my, my finances don't match, glory to God, what you said I was going to be. Amen. Glory to God. But I want you to know that when God speaks, glory to God, as the prophet has said, that God is able to back up what he said. I let him say he's able to back up his word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what happened is, is glory to God, the woman of God, she gave, and I said, now, this seed, it was a special seed. The Lord said, this seed is for protection for you and your family that nobody would die. Right? Well, her baby daddy, she was riding in the car. We were speaking in tongues and praying. Her baby daddy was in church. I'm uh, not in church. He was, he, was, uh, he was doing what he was doing. And the Lord spoke to me. He said, son, tell her that we need to pray. So I said, okay, I'm going to tell him. He said, specifically, because there is somebody that's going to jump him, that's going to uh, shoot him, and God even showed me his name. God told me his name. I can't remember. Is it, uh, what is it, Quentin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, God said Quentin. Glory to God. And he, he, she was like, what? Just like prophetess. I said, what's your husband's name? Then I said, glory to God. God said, call her. She was like, oh, that's his name. Glory to God. Woo! Jesus, glory to God. So, you know, it just happened like that. You know, as I'm talking, God will be downloading information. I want y'all to know this. Amen. Because whatever on my life going to come on your life. Amen. As long as you stay connected. Amen. Glory to God. So, I want you to understand this. Is that, glory to God. He ended up was just in the parking lot. Some guys pulled over. And you know what they did? Came and jumped him. Start trying to stab him. Shot him. She called the phone and she was crying. She was, oh, oh. I said, what's wrong? She said, they just shot my baby daddy. And I need to get to the hospital. I don't know what to do. Oh. I said, well, if God said it, then you know what? He gonna live. Right? If did she do that? She was crying, right? Yeah. Glory to God. I got to tell everything because the truth, listen, listen to me, y'all. It's not the front people. Y'all want y'all to hear this. Because if you go through this, testimony is to strengthen you when you go through it. Do you hear me? Yeah. Glory to God. Testimony is there to encourage you that if God had did it for somebody else, he can do it for you. Amen. Why you won't be glad God feeling like, well, this ain't never happened. I ain't never heard of no God don't operate like that. God always have somebody to go through something worse before you. Amen. To take a hit, like Prophet has said, before you. Amen. Hallelujah. So what happened is, is glory to God, this woman of God, she called and she was crying. Glory to God. And I want you to put yourself in these shoes. She was crying because it's her baby father. Amen. This is, this is, glory to God, Brandon's daddy. Amen. That's not in church, not saved. You see what I'm saying? If he would have died, he would have, because he didn't have time enough, he would have made it to heaven. You see? So God said to pray for him uh, against the attack. So when the attack come, glory to God, he wouldn't die. You see what I'm saying? So, glory to God, we prayed. And I want for you to know, I'm still in the Bible. The Bible says that Israel was what? Preserved. That meant kept. Right? Israel was preserved. What did that mean? They didn't die before their time because it was a prophet to see what the enemy was trying to place on their life. You see what I'm saying? I gotta say, I need prophets like that. Glory to God to tell me, glory to God, stuff I don't want to hear. Amen. Glory to God. When I told my wife, you heard her, she was like, uh, $90. You don't got no money. What's wrong with you, Bob? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you feel like that. You will hear a word, amen, that hurts you. You will hear a word, glory to God, that you're not sure about, amen? But it's not about you. Glory to God, don't you know the very existence of God? Glory to God, it's miraculous. Nobody created God. God just exists. Nobody created Jesus. He just existed. Glory to God. Glory to God. God is God. God created the heavens and the earth. I want you to 
understand when you think of God, you can't think of God, glory to God, like your saved grandma, your saved grandpa, glory to God, your saved uncle, glory to God, your saved mama, your saved you, whatever. And you see what I'm saying? Glory to God, God, glory to God is bigger, glory to God, than any person that you ever met. Amen. 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 So God is not a God that that give a word and not able to fulfill his promise. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So it says in Ephesians 2 and 20, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and, and prophets. Now that word built means to build up, right? That means on your low seasons, right? If I come to you and say, God says, you know what? There's a white girl. God says she's going to bless you with glory to God. Because I can see somebody, glory to God, that you like, glory to God. And there's somebody, glory to God, in school, glory to God. I see you texting and looking at the locker, glory to God. You walk with your head down and I'm prophesying. You don't even know it. And glory to God, sometimes, glory to God, you go in the kitchen, wake up in the middle of the night, pasting and stuff. Glory to God, walking while everybody's sleeping. You be trying to figure out, glory to God, what's this and what's that, glory to God. And sometimes you have tears in your eyes, glory to God. There's a boy named Tony. Glory to God, that I just seen in the spirit, glory to God. And glory to God, yeah, both. you see what I'm just saying? You see how I just, just saw a proper sound out of nowhere? It's on me. Amen? You look like, Lord Jesus, don't tell them nothing else. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, la so, I got to say, the spirit of prophecy. Glory to God. And this is not to flash your gift. It's to let you know that, glory to God, if somebody's trying to rob you, right? Because I got robbed, that's why I wear glasses. In 2009, I got robbed, right? Glory to God. So I, I went legally blind. They hit me with brass knuckles. Y'all will see the scar right here. Amen. Glory to God. And because I didn't have discernment, because I wasn't filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Because I wasn't in that place where I should be with God. Glory to God. People was able to sneak up on me. That's why now, glory to God, my focus, amen, my aim, glory to God, is to make sure, glory to God, that I'm right with God. Glory to God. So watch this. So I can warn other people so that they wouldn't be in the same position that I was once in. Amen. Glory to God, because my life was on the line. Hallelujah. Blood all over my face. You know how they sing the passion of Christ? My face was smashed all the way in. I looked like Martin when he got beat up on the episode. I, I mean, glory to God, they hit me with brass knuckles. You see what I'm saying? My mama got the picture. Blood everywhere. It was so much blood that every time, glory to God, my mama saved me, she was, she was like, where they at? Glory to God, I'm going to get them boys. I'm going to call your dad. I said, not daddy, because daddy was in the military. Not daddy, glory to God, because daddy smoking drink. Not daddy, glory to God, because daddy ready to knock somebody out. Not daddy, glory to God, because he got a crew, glory to God. They like to, glory to God, shoot people. You see what I'm saying? Not daddy, glory That's the last place you want to call is my daddy. You see what I'm saying? So, glory to God, she's angry. Glory to God, my uncle Corey, angry. He's six. Six, uh, four. Glory to God, angry. He like, where they at? Glory to God, my Uncle Joseph, angry. Glory to God, everybody angry. Musicians that knew me because I grew up in the church, angry. Everybody angry. And they ask me, they say, where they at? What do you feel? How do you feel? You okay? I say, yeah, I just love them. I say, you know what? I don't have nothing against them. You know why? Because even when I was in sin, I knew it was a demon that had them to do it. Now, how many people could do that? Forgive somebody when your life, you're not even sure that you're going to live to see the next day. You see what I'm saying? Some of us get mad because the way somebody looked at us, the way somebody said something. It can be 10 years ago, and we still holding on things, glory to God, that our stepmom, our friend said, our brother, you see what I'm saying? Do y'all hear me? I just said Chloe. Do you hear me? Hi, y'all about Glory to God. So it says in 1 King, glory to God, it says, uh, 1 King 17 and 9, Arise, go to Zarephath. I heard it say Zarephath. Which belongs to Sodom. And let me go back to this, because I want for y'all to, amen, I'm not picking on nobody today. I just want y'all to know, amen, because in the prophetic, sometimes God wants you to demonstrate. I just says demonstrate. Demonstrate. Amen. Demonstrate means bring to life that thing, it's just like, you remember with the Jumanji, best way to describe it, you remember when uh, you put all the pieces together, they'll go to another world, and when they go to another world, they'll start seeing stuff, and there is stuff that they thought was just, you know, just letters will come alive, glory to God, and the reason I say that, because I know you 
like, you know, stuff like that. He done seen the wild safari and stuff like that. Come on now, Jesus. Glory to God, the animal planet. The animal check. Come on. Glory to God. You done seen stuff like that. Am I telling you the truth? Glory to God. You done, huh? It's been a while, but yes. You see what I'm saying? So I want for you to understand that glory to God. God, he's speaking. I never say he's speaking. He's speaking. He says, having been built up upon the foundation, which means that when you don't have strength, you ought to have a prophet in your phone that you can call. Let me say it again. Why? Because the truth of the matter is, is that glory to God, God speaks to prophets. Amen? God's son was a prophet. Amen? They call Jesus a who? A prophet, right? Matter of fact, the Muslims, what they call him? A prophet, right? You see what I'm saying? So, God always had prophets. Amen? I never say God used Prophets. God used prophets. Glory to God. God used the prophet to uh to, to before there was anything about the lands of the law, God used a prophet by the name of Moses, right? Glory to God to allow them know what was uh glory to God, what was the cleanse, the sanitize, the leprosy. The, ain't nothing the, the, it's the same thing what's in the Bible. Well, we are dealing with this coronavirus, right? But Moses was instructed that when people were sick, he, he was uh, told with people with leprosy to say that they're unclean and to stay in the house or stay away from their family. The same thing they see him with leprosy. You see, you see what I'm saying? The same thing we're seeing today with coronavirus. If you sick, you sleep, they like, oh, unclean, unclean. Hey, my God, you look like you you doing this. <laughs> And they looking at you like, come on, let it out, let it out, so I can tell you off like that. They be they, they, they swinging like this. You look, you like they don't even ask you, you okay? They just looking like, you know, he about to die, she about to die. The devil is alive. I dare to say that I shall live, I shall live. and not die. die. Hallelujah. So it's a firm method, amen, to keep the saints, amen, from believing what God is saying. Amen. So let me go on. Amen. Is this good? Amen. Because I'm trying to teach. Amen. But I need your spirit to be with me. I don't need you to be thinking about KFC right now. Come on now. I don't need you to be thinking about no hamburgers. Come on. I don't need you to be thinking about glory to God. I could have been home sleeping in my bed. Come on. I need you, glory to God, to hear the word of the... Oh, my God. The man of God laughing. Uh-oh, glory to God. I didn't mean to call you that. Hallelujah. But anyway, it says First Kings uh, 17... Verse 9. I didn't say first kings. First kings. It says, Arise. I didn't say arise. Arise. That means get up from the place you were in. In other words, God don't want you to be stagnant. I didn't say God don't want me to be stagnant. God doesn't want me to be stagnant. He says, Go to Zarephath, which belonged to Sidon, and stay there. Behold, I command a widow there to provide for you. In other words, this was in a time where there was famine, right? And, and God had somebody special to, that was, glory to God, that was already assigned to be a blessing to his man of God. I got to say, God had somebody special, God somebody special that I ain't never met before. That, that want to be a blessing to me. Come on, Kenny. I just seen somebody named Kenny. Last Elabai. Glory to God. I got to say, God wants to use. Me for his glory. For his glory. So it says, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belonged to Sodom, and stay there. Behold, I commanded a widow woman to provide for you. This is a stranger. Sometimes God will tell you to do strange stuff. I dare to say, God tell us to do strange stuff. God tells us to do strange stuff. The reason I'm saying this is because sometimes you be trying to figure out if it's God. Usually, if you're trying to figure it out and you ain't never heard it before, nine times out of ten is God. You see what I'm saying? God told Abraham to what? Leave his who? Father and mother house. He told him to leave everything he knew and try something new. God is into, glory to God, your future. I dare to say, God ain't where. God ain't where. Where you used to be. He's ahead of you. He's ahead of you. Hallelujah. So it says in 1 Kings 22, verse 7. Y'all ready? He says, But Jehoshaphat doubted and said, Is there not another prophet of the Lord here whom we may ask? Do y'all know who Jehoshaphat was? 
Who was he? He was a king. This is why President Trump had all the preachers to come and do a meeting. Don't you know people say, that Bible is foolish, that, that Bible is man-made. Well, why President Trump and Obama called all the preachers to the White House in the over office to pray for him? It's the same thing that happened in the Bible. And I don't say Bible days because as long as we're in the earth, it's Bible days. You see what I'm saying? Because heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word will never pass away. Amen? Glory to God. So in other words, if God had a president, amen, or a king to say, glory to God, I ain't going to be, glory to God, so high or so arrogant, glory to God, or cocky, glory to God, because he's a president, glory to God, he's a king, he can say, I don't need your help, glory to God, I already got everything. But you know what he said? He said, is there not a prophet among you? In other words, the world, as she said earlier, Jesus said it like this, we're the salt of the earth. Amen. What did that mean? That, that word season means that, glory to God, what Brandon used to say, keep on living. Keep on living, baby. Come on. Yeah, how many people, Granny, done told you that? Keep on living, baby. Glory to God, be encouraged, baby. I'm praying for you. You're going to get through this. Come on. How many people said that's the season, saints? Uh, that, glory to God, they can see the pain. Uh, they can feel the pain, glory to God, but they remember where God brought them from. Uh, glory to God, that's just like Prophetess Veronica. Glory to God, she said, glory to God, that you can remember how, glory to God, where the days it seemed like. Glory to God, everything wasn't wrong, right? Glory to God, Sister Jasmine. Glory to God, say it. Glory to God. That glory to God, it was a day that she didn't know. Glory to God, who, where her brother was. She didn't know. Glory to God, if her brother was still living. She didn't know. Glory to God, she knew she had a brother. Glory to God, but she didn't know where he was located. But the Holy Ghost, I never said the Holy Ghost. Woo! Came upon him and made him get up. Glory to God from where he was. Glory to God to connect to him. Glory to God connect to her. Glory to God. Why? Because God is mindful for his people. I gotta say he's mindful of us. Yeah. Your glory to God, you the only one that don't know it sometimes. You forget it sometimes. Come on, let's be real. That's why we be nervous. That's why I I back I nerve get back. That's why glory to God sometimes I, glory to God we cry more. Glory to God than we laughing because we forget who God is. Because man failed us. Glory to God. Can I tell you you are not who you are because God made you that way. You are that way, glory to God, because life and circumstances made you that way. When you was younger, glory to God, watch this. Y'all ready for this? Put them down. Put them down. Prince, come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. You see what he's doing? He's reaching for me. Because the only thing he knows is he hears my voice. We supposed to be like that. When God says come, we supposed to know. You, know by shot. you see what I'm saying? Watch this. Follow me, Prince. Come follow me. Come here, Prince. Come on. Come here, baby. You see what I'm saying? He knows my voice. Watch this. Now sit back down, baby. Sit back down. Go over there. Go sit down. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God. He knows. Glory to God. My voice. Amen. Glory to God. This is how we supposed to be. Our faith supposed to be so strong. We don't supposed to be saying, well, I don't know if God is really speaking to me. No. He said, my sheep. Know my voice. I gotta say, God sheep. God sheep. I know God's voice. I, God's voice. I ain't confused. I gotta say, devil, you a liar. I ain't confused. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God. God wants you to know. Glory to God that He is. Glory to God. Wish I gotta say, He is with you. Glory to God. That's what prophets, they have assurance. Glory to God. Watch this. When nobody else, watch this. Now, if you notice, I told him to come. He came. Now, everybody in the room that's watching, they watched him come. Glory to God. And you didn't even know why I was telling him to come. But he knew because I said to come, he came. Glory to God. What did that mean? That means sometimes God will tell you pro 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 uh, 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 prophetically and in person, he'll tell you, I want you to do this. Watch this. Even though your sister right here, even though your sister right here, even your mama here, even your uncle is here. Watch this. God didn't speak it to them. He spoke it to you. So now what you do, you begin to get up and walk. You know why? Glory to God, because God is speaking specifically to you. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, 
Don't be discouraged when, watch this, God gives you something, glory to God, that it seems like everybody don't understand or uh, something that people don't understand. You see what I'm saying? Because sometimes God ain't speaking to everybody. Sometimes he want to speak to you because just as much, watch this, much as you as his son, this is her daughter. You see what I'm saying? Much as you as his son, this is his son. Much as you as his son, this is his daughter. You see what I'm saying? Watch this. My wife, she loves, glory to God, uh, 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 house shows. She likes to watch, you know, people building houses. She, she loves that. I love to watch cooking shows. You see what I'm saying? I love to watch sports. I love to watch wrestling. See, look at you laughing. Glory to God. I like to watch uh, glory to God, things like that. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God. But my wife, uh, glory to God, she likes to go to the mall. I like to go to church. She likes to sing. I like to play music. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God, two different things. Glory to God, but we serve the same God. You see what I'm saying? So in other words, God may give you something different, glory to God, from somebody connected to you. But just because it's different and they don't do the same thing you do, don't mean it's God. You just missed that. Because some of us be thinking, glory to God, because glory to God, God ain't, glory to God spoke, glory to God, my next move, but he ain't spoke, glory to God, it must not be meant, because I heard it, but glory to God, I don't know if I should do it. Glory to God, God will place in your spirit, and sometimes he give you confirmation, and sometimes he may not give you confirmation, because there's a time where he would just say, come, watch this, y'all ready? Y'all remember the apostles? Y'all remember how all the other apostles, they was on the ship, right? And Peter, he said, it's a spirit. The Lord said, no, it ain't no spirit. He said, come. He said, well, bid me to come, right? Y'all remember? It was on 3, 4 in the morning. So Jesus said, come. What Peter did, even though there was other apostles, y'all better hear me. Ooh, this is good. If it ain't good to y'all, it's good to me. I, even though it was other apostles, even though it was other chosen preachers, right? Even though it was other people that heard the voice of God, was called at the same time, that was glory to God, an apostolic train, glory to God. None of their faith told them to move the boat but Peter. You just missed that. And other way, sometimes God would say, glory to God, I want you to buy a house. And you're like, glory to God, you call, you call your friend, and your friend say, glory to God, girl, you know, glory to God, you crazy because you don't even got no credit established. Well, God didn't speak that vision to them. He spoke it to you. So it's for you to go watch this because the grace may not be on her. It may be, it got, you, you just missed it. You see what I'm saying? Everybody, uh, everybody has a different grace. You see what I'm saying? She worked as a mayor. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God, many of us don't even know what it means to be a day in a mayor's office to be in the city. You see, none of us, glory to God, knows what that means. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God, she walked in shoes that we never walked in. You see what I'm saying? Glory to God, so what am I saying? I'm saying this. Glory to God, you cannot, glory to God, base your decisions on somebody else's failed marriage. You can't base your decisions on somebody else losing their father, they're losing their mother. You can't base your decision because this person died of cancer or this person died of this, that you're going to die. That's not your future. Paul said it best. He said that you got to what? He said you got to fight the good fight of faith and finish your course. I better say everybody got their own course. Yeah. Ah, the, the reason I say that, glory to God, because a lot of times uh, we allow fear that's around us to make us afraid. Uh, glory to God, because glory to God, uh, it didn't work the first time. Uh, we think God, that, oh God, uh, I ain't going to look out for nobody else. Uh, glory to God, because I done got married, I done did this. Uh, glory to God, and I, I just don't want to try that no more. Glory to God, can I be through him? And God is saying, why are you waiting? Uh, glory to God, don't you know uh, when you was in elementary, uh, you had glory to God. A girl, glory, you had a man, glory to God, that you was interested in, glory to God, and when glory to God, it didn't work, glory to God, because you was determined, glory to God, you didn't allow for that one bad relationship to stop you from pursuing the time to one. And can I tell you, that's how God is, glory to God, God is like that, glory to God, just because, glory to God, the Bible says, I want you to hear me, the Bible says, Adam, glory to God, he tell God, so God, glory to God, able, Glory to God, he loved God, but can't kill him. Glory to God, can't tell 
old kind. Glory to God, when then the Bible says that after that, it was a complete mess. Glory to God, the sons of God were sleeping with the women, making them pray that it was the demons, pulling demons that came from heaven. And the Bible declares, glory to God, after that, the Bible declares, glory to God, that this happened. The Bible says, glory to God, that these women, glory to God, they were so defiled. Glory to God, that there was a spirit. Glory to God, of wickedness. Glory to God, it was so wicked. Glory to God, that the Bible declares, glory to God, that God began. Glory to God, to say, what am I going to do for man? Glory to God, that Moses, glory to God, Noah, he found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now watch this. God is getting ready to kill all humanity. Glory to God, but he found grace. Glory to God, do no more. Glory to God, I don't understand I'm the Lord of this generation. I'm the Lord of my, come on, don't be afraid. I'm the Lord, come on, I want everybody to say it. I'm the Lord of my family. Glory to God, my uncle may be crazy, may be sleeping with different women. Glory to God, my, my mama. Glory to God, will have made more baby daddies. Glory to God, than anything. Glory to God, but I believe God. I'm the Lord of my family. Glory to God, my mama. Glory to God, may be sick, better than this. Glory to God, but I ain't. My children, come on. Glory to God, we're the people. Glory to God, that sins. Glory to God, that curses. Gonna stop at my house. When God created me, he created me to be something different. I'm not normal. Glory to God, so that's why normal people don't understand me. That's why. Glory to God, normal people don't want to hang with me. Glory to God, because God has called me to be different. I dare to say he called me to be different. Uh, so the Bible, I dare you say the Bible. I love saying it, glory to God, because that's the only thing, glory to God, that when everything fails, that's the only thing that you can count on, is the word. I dare to say the Bible, see. Uh, the Bible says in 2 Chronicles 18 and 6, uh, the Bible says, but Jehoshaphat says, is there not a prophet of the Lord still here uh, by whom uh, we may inquire? I want you to understand, glory to God, uh, in this last and evil day, uh, the world is looking for a prophet. Uh, and I'm going to say, glory to God, I ain't going to allow my family uh, to go to depression. Uh, I ain't going to allow my family.